Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video on my channel. In this video, uh, I'll be replying to a comment that was posted on the video that I just made about the work culture in Dubai. So let me start off by reading what the feedback says. It says, thanks a lot, Jay. Another very informative video. It seems that despite zero income tax, salaries in Dubai aren't as good as they're cracked up to be. So that's like a question statement. Some people say Dubai is about to take off as a global tech hub and has started attracting top talent from the West. Seeing as you are also in tech, it would be great to hear your opinion on these claims. Um, so let me start off with the zero income tax thing. So uh, I'm not sure um, where all of you are from, but um, for those of you who are Americans looking to move over to the UAE, um, the first $112,000 of income is tax deductible. So that means if you're making less than $112,000, tax liability might be um, nothing. But if you're making over $112,000, then you'll be responsible for... Um, everything that you make above $112,000. And if, um, depending on the country you're, you're from, you probably, you may have um, no income tax liability at all, zero, zip, zilch. Um, in terms of uh, um, salaries in Dubai, um, I was reading an article and it was one of the Gulf papers that Dubai is, um, 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 number three in the world when it comes to tech salaries. Now, I can't say how true that is. Um, I only know from my uh, experiences, um, but it's, um, it's, it's very well possible. Any, any new source that I read, um, especially from, from that region, um, I, you know, I take it with a, with a grain of salt because, you know, sometimes it's like propaganda. So, um, to be honest, you know, I don't know if, if number three is, is valid, but it could very well be true. Um, so let me add to that. Um, my experience um, working in Silicon Valley for um, um, the FANG companies, one of the FANG companies, and if you're not familiar with that term, that's Facebook, Apple, Amazon, Netflix, and Google. Um, this, the total compensation that you make working for a FANG company companies typically higher than um, what you make in the UAE. And that's just from um, my experience. Now I know that like there's been Americans who have gone over there and they've had very specialized skills and they've gotten like a stupid, ridiculous amount of money, like well over $500,000. Um, but that's not the case for, for everyone. Um, and it's not unusual, um, like if you're working in the tech sector, especially Silicon Valley, um, to have a total compensation, you know, the ballpark, you know, between you know, 250,000 up to 1 million. So um, my personal experience when I worked in Dubai, I got just cash essentially. And then uh, I got the inner service gratuity. So if you're not familiar with what gratuity is, um, each year that you're with a company, they will pay you a certain percentage of your salary upon your exit or termination from the company, provided that you leave on good standings. Um, so working in Silicon Valley um, and also now working for um, a tech company, I get my base salary um, and also I get um, a bonus and also restricted RSUs, restricted stock units. So that's a typical package that you would get when it comes to total compensation. And this doesn't other this does not include other benefits or perks that you might get from the company, such as discounts and also um, um, 401k plan. So 401k plan is like a retirement, and typically I'd say you put like um, six percent of your salary away each paycheck to your retirement. And then the company, you know, matches a certain percentage, maybe they'll match that 6%. So effectively every paycheck, 12% is going towards 
your um, your your retirement or building wealth. So, in that standpoint, um, the salaries um, in Silicon Valley far exceed um, working in for any company in Dubai, unless one of those companies um, sends you over to UAE and you have that package. So, if you go over to Internet City, then you'll see like. Amazon, you'll see AWS, um, Google, Facebook, Microsoft, and, and many other tech companies that have a presence in the area. And another, another thing is that um, there's a lot more like startups um, that are seeking um, investment, I mean, invest, investors. So, um, you know, the UAE has their sovereign wealth fund, the Saudis have their sovereign wealth fund, the Kuwaitis have their sovereign wealth fund. So you're starting to see a lot more tech offices um, pop up in those areas, and so um, these guys they're not they're not they're not silly. So I think they're getting better on attracting and retaining um, top talent in that region. Now, as far as like the ability to compete with. Um, um, like for example, Silicon Valley, that's to be determined. You know, one of the main things, not just about the money, it's also about the exciting, um, the, you know, the projects that, that, that they are um, starting up there. So right now, one of the big things is generative AI and definitely the place to be for that would be Silicon Valley. Um, I'm not sure what kind of generative AI projects they have going on in um in the uae since the topic is dubai um you know just from my experience like dubai will do something but in terms of like technology but it's been done already like in the like in silicon valley like they've been working on it you know for years already like autonomous driving for example or battery technology um and you know whatever whatever they're working on i don't want to dive into all the different fields of, of, of tech um so the next um so in terms of you know um dubai salaries are they cracked up to what they say they are it again it, it, it depends um on you know what you're doing where you're from and what you negotiate so um you know that that all you have to take that all that into account some people say dubai is about to take off as a global tech hub and have started attracting top talent from the west and i think the uae has been attracting top talent um from or I would say, well, you know, top talent from the West for, for quite some time. Um, but the compensation levels, um, I don't think they are what they used to be. Um, probably 15, 20 years ago, people are getting like stupid, ridiculous packages. And now that um, there's so many people flooding um, into the UAE, especially now, um, with you know different situations that are going on in the world, there's just an abundance of people, and there's people who are willing to work for 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 cheap. So that has a big impact on um, on what companies are, are are willing to pay. So your buddies that are you know willing to work for dirt cheap, you know, tell them, hey man, don't screw the rest of us, you know. Um, you know, don't, you know, you know, jump at the first, you know, you know, bit of scraps that they throw your way, you know, play a hard bargain. Um, next is, seeing as you're also in tech, it would be great to hear your opinion on these claims. So the first thing that I ask myself, you know, I constantly ask myself, like, would you go to Dubai and work again? Definitely I would, but I'd only go there if my current company, they transferred me there and I kept my current compensation package. So right now I live on the East Coast of the US. Uh, I work for a West Coast tech firm. And originally my contract um, stipulated that 
I go to California and I basically be a remote worker from California and in California, which made no sense to me. So, you know, I also said, you know, my job is 100% remote. So I said, hmm, if I can be 100% remote, why would I sit in the most expensive place? So I took my money and I'm sorry, my, my job, my laptop, and I went to a, a place that's a cheaper cost of living. And um, luckily for me, when I um, did that, um, I didn't really have a, um, a significant cost of living adjustment. In fact, my salary went up. And the area that I live in, although it's cheaper than um, California, um, still one, one of the more expensive places in the, in, in the U.S. Um, so for me to go to Dubai, I have a good quality of life here right now. I'm near my family. I live with my, my friends. I have a beautiful home here. I wouldn't want to go to the UAE to live uh, in an apartment building. So um, for me to go there, one, I'd want to keep my same um, compensation package <laughs> if possible. Two, I'd have to have um, similar accommodations to what I have um, right now. Like right now, like my house is like 32, about 3,200 square feet. And I really like my community. It's safe. It's peaceful. It's, it's quiet. And it's my sanctuary. Your home should be your, your, your sanctuary. Dubai, you know, a lot of people, um, nowadays are going for the lifestyle, um, various aspects of the, of the lifestyle. For me, I've found a place, um, um, there's so much going on and it mentally and physically it can be overwhelming when right at your doorstep you know there's all kinds of exciting excitement and things you know um, distracting you so here i have a, a a good focus when i want to go into the city then i can go into the city and i can come back out of it and if i want to go anywhere in the world i can go and come back and when i'm here i can focus and i can get things done I'm not saying that I, I wasn't able to get things done in Dubai, but it's definitely a little bit harder when there's always something, you know, right at your, your doorstep. And if you've seen my previous videos, I live like right in downtown for a good portion of my time there. And then I moved right down the street to um, Business Bay. So I didn't have to go far for uh, excitement. The next thing that I would consider is does the opportunity, does the challenge make sense? Is it going to um, propel me towards my goals? I don't care about what kind of fun stuff that they have there because fun is not going to get me where I want to be in life. Yes, it's good to have fun. There's a time and place for everything, but I don't need it all the time. Sometimes I need to hunker down, focus, disappear, and get my job done and make things happen. That's how you get places in life, not worrying about fun all the time. Um, so, you know, I'm happy where, where I'm at. Maybe one day, you know, I'll buy a, uh, you know, condo in Dubai and I'll go there, go in and out. But right now I'm making my money here and my life is good and my company, they're gonna have to get rid of me for me to go anywhere. Or, you know, the company is gonna to have to make me an offer that I can't refuse. So that's, those are some of the things that perhaps you should take into consideration if working in Dubai makes sense for you. Are you going to be compensated fairly? Is it the most competitive? You know, I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt to say that, you know, you have highly valuable skills and you can work anywhere in the world. Two, is the uh, opportunity going to keep you actively engaged and, and growing and take you somewhere? And three, how's your quality of life going to be? Is it going to be good? And also, how is the company going to treat you? Are they going to treat you like... Thank God that you have a job in Dubai and, you know, don't say anything else. Don't ask for anything else. Don't ask for a raise. Don't ask for a bonus. Or are they going to be on along the lines? We value what you bring to the company and we want to make sure you're happy. And we're going to do what it takes to keep you happy and productive here. So those are some of the things to um, take into account. So again, um, I believe I told you to 
do your research, um, take you know my feedback with a grain of salt, and you know talk to various people and get their different perspectives. Um, read the news, go to Reddit, go to the Dubai forum where you'll see all kinds of things on there from ridiculous to you know um, sad stories about people's plights and also good stories. So take that all into account. So if you see some something negative, just that one person's account may not be that an accurate story. But if you see the same thing over and over again by different people who have nothing to gain from post, posting that negative information, then there might be some truth to it if different people are posting the same thing. And that could be that, hey, you know, they're not paying us good here, or hey, they're treating us good, or hey, they're discriminating uh, against us. And so those are things that you do see. And keep in mind, it's still a developing um, nation. And although they may have some of the conveniences, they just don't have, um, you know, just, you know, the, you know, I guess time in the market, you know, um, or experience that some other, you know, more well-developed tech hubs um, have, um, have and they're still um, going through growing pains, but that's not to say that they won't get there. Um, I tried to write down, you know, these points and make sure I answered all your questions um, accurately, no cap. So I hope that um, this feedback was helpful. If you want me to elaborate on anything, let me know. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe and hit that like button. And I thank you all. Thank you um, for submitting this question for me to reply to. And stay tuned um, for what's next in my channel.